What's good y'all boys man I'm back with another reaction This time I got how good was Deion Sanders actually Man I ain't gonna lie I really don't know how good Deion Sanders was So we gonna get into this you know what I'm saying They be hyping him up so hey Maybe he was really like that But we gonna see Prime time Prime Deion, time Deion The hype The athleticism The biggest moments and the controversial brash style that Harris came with it all. That Harris he crazy teams in his 14 year career he is regarded as one of the greatest professional and collegiate football players. Of all yeah. time. That's crazy. Good was Deion Sanders, actually. Deion Lewin Sanders was born in Fort Myers, Florida, and immediately the whole, grabbed the whole gov, though. Did he just say the whole gov? I mean, everybody already probably knew that, but you know what I'm saying? Like to sports. Surprisingly, Dion wasn't the best player on his eight-year-old football team, but one of his favorite childhood memories oh. was winning a championship with that U8 team. Dion loved sports, and they loved him back. But him Jerry Curls. Three sports at North Myers High School. A lot of people don't know that Sanders got his nickname Primetime on the basketball court. Ooh. He did. <clears throat> Let me see that again, though. He just left hand tomahawk know that Sanders got his nickname he can hoop on the basketball court okay Jared Curl after a 30 point scoring downpour in one game he earned the nickname that would be prime time with Dion for the rest of his life Sanders that's tough in football basketball and baseball Shit. century Florida high school football team his senior year Dion was actually the starting quarterback for North what Florida. he was quarterback as being a defensive back see Sanders I didn't know he was wide receiver though wasn't he three sports was even drafted to the MLB out of high school. The story goes that all recruiters had to see was Dion nearly hit his head what? on the rim in a basketball game to be sold on his athleticism. Sanders eventually chose Florida State. He's like that? He was the closest to his mother, and because they were the only school that would let Sanders play as a freshman. It didn't take long before they found out what the best position for Dion was. It was all of them. As a freshman, Sanders... But that boy, Dion, was different. You telling me he played three different sports. Basketball, he dunk. I'm talking about he John Wall left hand. Tomahawk James Harden, whatever you wanna whatever you wanna call it. Baseball got drafted to the MLB out of high school. But you know how crazy that is? And then football, he played quarterback. That's not even his main position. You know what I'm saying? Bro, he might be the GOAT. Like real talk. Like we really talking GOAT. Like, but I didn't know none of this. All I knew is they coach at Colorado. I heard prime time before you, but you know. Anyway, he sound like me. Cause if I would have played foot, if I would have played football and baseball, bro, I'd probably be in the NFL right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm almost in the NBA, so. Made an impact on the baseball diamond. That's nuts. Field. That's nuts. Legendary coach Bobby Bowden wasn't keen on playing freshman. Couldn't keep Sanders' unique talents mm. on the bench. He started in the second. That's how you know you nice. Captivated audiences, returning punts. It was can't miss TV if he could get his hands on the ball. As soon as the football season, Mom, ended, turn it to, to the turn it to Channel he Seven. Fielder for the Knowles World Series team. What? Sean was no longer playing basketball. He decided to take up track in the spring. Just as you imagine, he made an immediate impact there as well. By the end of his freshman, it's a bird. Year, it's a plane. Oh, up everywhere. it's a bird. It's a plane. Oh, it's prime time. It's prime time. The license plate reading prime time. I was telling the Oh, that's legendary. Him by the nickname as well. The legend of the fictional sounding do it all athlete in Tallahassee grew bigger and bigger. Yeah, that's crazy. Years. That do sound fake. Sanders would play a baseball game, tear off his jersey, and run track in the same afternoon. He ran a 10.3100. That's dang near crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like just tear off your jersey and then just go run track. Running a 10 3. Hundred meter dash. Conference performer on the track. At a division one, you know what I'm saying? The best cover player in the nation really took hold. But I didn't know he was like this. Cornerback, shutting down the nation's best receivers. He was still a terror with the ball in his hands. In his first so he played seasons, cornerback. He had nine interceptions. Shit! He brought back 100 yards. Deion Sanders' senior year at FSU was one for the ages. His reputation as a cover corner paralleled the. He was on that. He picked off five more passes to become the. He did play both sides, didn't he? Florida State. All time, 
leading interceptor at Florida State. Is that still like to this day? Bro, he's nuts. For house calls, along with a punt return touchdown. After his yeah. in the Sugar Bowl to seal a win Ugh. over Auburn, Sanders ran up to the cameras saying, Bump the Thorpe, give me the Heisman. Sanders didn't win the Heisman. Unanimous oh. All-American and J He said, Bump the Thorpe, and he didn't win the Heisman. Who won the Heisman? Award winner Dion's pre draft process fly delta before or after him. Boy, boy, iced out. Ran four point not even iced out. What did they call gold? To do any more drills. He pissed out with the Giants. He stopped the mid conversation to ask who their draft pick was. Unsatisfied with the response. Oh, his haircuts are fire. No glazing. Got up and told him we wouldn't be available at that spot, and promptly walked out in a draft class with a few other future Hall of Fame. What? And an enigma and brash personality. Bro, the cuts are blowing me now. Fifth slot, straight into the Atlanta Falcons' lap. But at first, it didn't feel like that for the Falcons. Sanders was set on playing in both the MLB and the NFL. Drafted. No, that's Yanks, crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Contract issues with Atlanta. Sanders worked his way into the Yanks' starting lineup in what? the prime time fashion. Sanders blasted a home run for the Yanks. Boom. Then made his Falcons debut less than a day later. What? what a debut. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Smacking a home run. Then the next day you making your debut with the Falcons. Bro, he's living life. Bro, that bag, but he probably got that dog guap chicken cheddar cheese on him. That's a big bag. You talking about you got MLB money. You got NFL money on you. Boy. Boy. Was. I guess teams didn't learn from his college career as Sanders returned his first punt return 66 yards for a touchdown. What? Sanders was only a professional for one week. And he had done something no one had ever done. What happened? Homered in the MLB and scored a touchdown in the NFL within a day's time. Yeah, that's nuts. I ain't gonna lie. Leon's nickname should be Precedent Time. Yeah, that doesn't roll off the tongue quite as well as Prime, but it does seem like every time you look over, Dion was doing something no one had ever done before. To make his schedule easier, yeah, that's Sanders crazy. The Atlanta Braves in 1990, but it didn't take long before Sanders got tired of not being able to play in the baseball playoffs because the NFL season coincided. Mm. He manufactured his second deal to allow him to play both at the same time. In mm. his full postseason in baseball, Deion Sanders played outfield for the Look. Braves. But you see how he's sliding? Big. He, he just going and playing football the next day. Series. All he did next was show up without any training camp and missing a quarter of the season to earn an all pro corner and a pro bowl punt. Return. Oh, yeah, he's nice. The with the Falcons had come to an end, he's he nice. Scored 10 return touchdowns and was twice named the best cornerback in football. He signed with the Falcons next and had arguably the greatest year of his legendary career. He picked off six passes, three of which he scored on. On just Dang. Three, three pick sixes. Prime set a still standing interception return single season mark 303 yards Dang. notable of those interceptions came on a 94 yard revenge pick against Sheesh. The stared down the falcon sidelines as he high step bro this is real goat talk bro 94 yard pick six staring at your old team's bench at the end zone sanders and the 49ers Crazy. won the nfc championship which led to another prime first being the only player to play in a world series and a super bowl sanders ended up coming up with a fourth quarter interception in the big game to win his first championship all off season as prime was playing baseball with the reds media and the nfl but i did not know he did. he was like this bro commercial for a video game about himself dion had to dress up with six different team jerseys on because he didn't know what team he would eventually Join. Dang. Known as the infamous Dion Sweepstakes, was eventually won by America's team, the Dallas Cowboys. The deciding factor, See, the Cowboys allowed. This is the only team I knew he played for. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. I don't know nothing about football. Football is not my, you know what I'm saying? That is not my go to sport. Dion to double as a wide but I could play in the NFL. So, I ain't gonna lie. In 1996, Dion Sanders was the first starting outfielder for the San Francisco Giants, the best cover corner in the world for the Dallas. That's Giants. nuts. And he was the newest slot receiver for America's team. In '95, Dion helped the Cowboys win their last of three Super Bowls of their dynasty, winning back-to-back -back titles on two separate teams. Sanders into exclusive company. Back-to-back back titles on two different teams. 
one more time. Now fully Dead healthy, boy, Sanders nuts. took on duties as a starting receiver as well. Sheesh! Surprise anybody that Dion turned Sheesh! into a pretty good receiver. In his lone year, he caught 36 passes, Sheesh! 376 yards, and a touchdown. He did all this. Is that good, my football players? Named to another All-Pro team as a corner. Oh, he played both sides. Yeah, he's goaded. Boys until 2000, when he signed a monster deal to become a Washington Redskin. But only one season into the seven-year deal, Sanders shocked the. Football but he's switching teams like I switch my draws. He's switching teams every day. She, damn near twice a day. Three times. A world by retiring. But wait, his story doesn't end there. Dion was just built different. And his time with the Baltimore Ravens proved it more than any of his other all pro years. After four seasons away from football, Dion was convinced to come back and play for the Baltimore Ravens defense. Mm. When he came on the field, he looked like he hadn't missed a beat. Now Jeez. Four, Jersey, which four years off is dang near a long time. To just get right back in it. That means he was staying in shape. He probably knew he was going to come back. He was trying to get on his Jordan. He, he really thought he was Jordan. Played two more seasons in 04 and 05. One of those seasons was a corner. And the other at safety. He added five more interceptions. And another touchdown. Before finally retiring. Dion's accolades would make Jim Thorpe. Wait. That ain't Dion. Who's that? Blush. He retired. His oh, somebody else. I'm tripping. Were more than any hey, I don't know no football people, bro. Was only one of two players to score a touchdown six different ways. It's really impossible oh, to compare any other NFL player to the touchdown. To Dion. There's just no one quite like him. Dion himself kind of summed up what it was like to watch him when he said, Some people will, come, ball out head. Well. Some people will come out to see me get run over. But love me or hate me, they're still going to come out. So, Sheesh. Have it. the incredible career of Dion Primetime Sanders. So, what do you guys think? Are we ever going to see another player as ambidextrous at sports as Neon? Travis Hunter? Question mark. Just an anomaly. Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, Neon Dion, or was he just an anomaly? Let me know in the comments down below. Hey now, hey now, hey now, hey now. Hey, enjoy buddy, what was that? Oh, hit that, hit that, hit that. And turn on post notifications, as always. Hey, I ain't going to lie, bro. He's still go to, he's still in the mix to this day. Bro, he's legendary, bro. I didn't even know he was like that. Now nah, I know he like that. All props to Deion Sanders. Like, comment, subscribe. Do what you got to do, man. You already know what it is, man. I'm back with reactions every single day. Let me know what y'all want me to react to when I'm on it.